Hey, this is Drew Jones of Drew's Guitar Shop in Seattle, Washington, and I wanted to talk about uh, string breakage and broken strings. So anyway, um, you know, when you break a string, a lot of people just think that, you know, they put too much stress on it, or maybe, uh, you know, maybe they overtuned and got it too tight and just broke, but there's, uh, there's kind of an insidious thing. If you've got a guitar that's a chronic string breaker, and... Uh, I say this from experience. Uh, one of my first guitars was a was a chronic string breaker. It's a good idea to maybe uh, check out that string and look at it a little bit um, when it breaks before you just pull it off and throw it in the trash. Now in this case, this string broke suspiciously close to this saddle. And when I put my fingernail in there, I can definitely feel a burr. And that is what cut the string. It didn't break. It got cut by a burr. So if you've got a guitar that's breaking a string in the same spot every single time, that part of the guitar probably has developed a burr and uh, could probably use a trip to the repair shop or maybe if you want to attempt it yourself, you know, uh, go to Stu Mac and look at their carborundum floss and their various products that, uh, that help with this issue. But um, common places to see burrs, especially on, on cheaper tunematic saddles, um, these are, these are, uh, these are uh, real string cutters uh, sometimes. And uh, I'm always suspicious of string breakage on, on any sort of Gibson style guitars. Um, another thing that can happen um, is tuners, especially on cheaper tuners. Uh, these are Grovers. So these aren't going to be uh, the cheap tuners that I'm talking about, but if you see some of those cheaper covered tuners, you know, a lot of times those can be those can be string cutters too. And you can just kind of run your fingernail in there and feel feel around. You can't always feel a burr, but sometimes they're really obvious and you can. Um, but you know it's the same deal. It's just going to have to be either polished out or you're going to have to polished uh, polished out and worked out with some or some kind of abrasive where you're going to have to take it to a shop and have them do it. Um, I mean, I'm happy to do that here. Um, you know, it's not really that big a deal, but it is something that you do want to take care of because, man, buying, buying strings every week, that can get to be an expensive hobby. So, yeah, keep an eye on these saddles. Keep an eye on the tuners. Um, keep an eye on pretty much any part that touches the string because all of them can potentially develop burrs. Anyway, uh, this is uh, Drew Jones of Drew's Guitar Shop in Seattle, Washington. If you do have a guitar that's having this issue or you need some setup work done or you got something that needs some repair work, uh, go ahead and let me know. My website is linked at the bottom of the video. Thank you.